Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today in this video, we're going to be talking about, as you guys can see right here, rhythm shooting, push timing, excellent, tempo, excellent. Should you guys use rhythm shooting in NBA 2K25? And I'm going to go ahead and answer that question very quick. Yes, if you're wide open on a catch and shoot, you guys can see you can even use it for post fades. You can use it for dribble pull-ups, as I'm going to show you guys in the my court. Now, do you need to always use rhythm shooting 100% of the time? No, and I'm going to go into that in some detail in today's video as well one big thing if you guys have not been using rhythm shooting and you're starting to practice to get the feel for it don't think of rhythm shooting as and you see right there i slightly slow now check this out i got an excellent on the push timing if i just used x as i do right here would i have greened that shot because i greened one of the timings i probably would have made it if i just used x rather than just using the stick right there so there's gonna be some of that we've been shooting with x way longer than we've been shooting with the stick so it will take some adjustment and if you're just starting to use the rhythm shooting don't think of it as i need to hold down as long as i would hold the button that's what I was doing when I first started practicing. I was trying to hold the stick down like I would hold the button down, but that's not what you do at all. You're just trying to flick down, and then as soon as your guy starts to release the ball, flick up. It's not really about holding. It's about matching your player's jump shot animation. And if you use a release that's very visual, say like Dirk Nowinski if you're a stretch big, it's going to be a lot easier to time that than say something that's more of a push motion that doesn't go over your head. Video right here on the twos. I'm playing with my guy uh -huh. Beast right here. What? Light, light pressure on that. I take a Michael game. Jordan dribble pull up. My guy Beast was having a terrible time. You're going to see he ends up going like 0 for 12 in this video. So I got to carry him a little bit. He just got back on the game though. I'm going to get him right for sure. Right there. I'll get us through this game. Don't worry about that. That's a tempo shot. I mean, I'm wide open. I got time. Once again, right here, I get it at the top of the key. I got plenty of time to yeah. spare. So I'm going to use the shot stick. 100% from I'll get, I'll get us through this game. I'll get us through this game. Two of my shots, I've used the stick. And then right here, two of my shots, I've used the button. I'm doing the dribble pull-ups with X because, yes, I could <laughs> use the shot go. stick. But why would I? I can green the middies pretty easy with just the button. So I'm not going to add any extra unnecessary, just complicated stuff to play in a basketball video game. I'm just trying to chill and hoop. Oh! <laughs> he can see, man. 0 for 7. I'm 5 for 5. He ends up getting a travel. If you can be confident shooting with the stick and shooting with X, I think that's going to be the most important thing with rhythm shooting this year. A lot of people are saying they only use the stick. A lot of other people are saying they only use the button as I get the Michael Jordan fade right there. You guys can see I'm using the button just as much as I'm using rhythm shooting. And there is a reason for that. Rhythm shooting is not something you want to do if you have to take a shot quickly. A lot of the times, if you try to do the rhythm shot too quickly, one, it's going to be impossible to time because you're going to do the rhythm shooting before your player actually starts the shot. And then two, you can see right here, body throws me a pass. It ends up pulling me in. It gives me a weird thing right here. I catch it. I take a second, gather myself, and I use the shot stick on that. That's a problem with the rhythm shooting. I used the button because I knew I was going to try to shoot it fast and the pass was going to drag me in for no reason. I don't know why 2K is still having that going on. But if I tried rhythm shooting right there, 1 million percent, I'm shooting red. I ended up missing it anyway with the button, but... I definitely had a better chance to green that shot. And you're going to hear us talk about that in just a second. And this is the reason that a lot of people are not liking the rhythm shooting. Because of these load up catches. Because it doesn't just do it automatically like you think it should. See right here? Take one second to pause. Then shoot yeah, the really shot with the stick. Like, I really don't like rhythm shooting. How you have to pause like that. Yeah, yeah. But it's if you're wide open though, it's the best thing to do. Yeah, I agree. It's stupid, man. Yeah. I'm you th Mr. you think man. in comp games, like you're shooting that bitch for game, that but, gang. but like he's closing out on you? You think you're doing a rhythm shot? If, if I if I have to get the shot up and someone's closing out, I'm using X. And you can hear my teammates talking. No one on my team really likes the rhythm shooting. Me and my guy Apollo, who plays lock, we both rhythm shoot a lot on the team. Joey also is doing a lot of rhythm shooting. And you can see right here, I'm expecting to catch the ball weird. So in my mind, I'm not even thinking about using the shot stick. 100% I'm going for X. If I'm, you know, standing still in the corner, I know someone with high pass act is throwing me a dot and I... You know, can expect my player not to do a stupid animation and I can just shoot the shot with the stick. I'm going to use the stick. But if there's any doubt in my mind, you know, if somebody's really tight on me and someone throws me the ball, I'm going to use X in those situations. You can see a little fast break right here. I only end up missing one shot in this first gameplay. You guys see the twos game. I didn't miss any, although the people were playing in the twos game. They weren't that good. The guys were playing in these threes pro-am video. They're a little bit better. It was the double rep. The sweats were out for sure. But the 
only shot I ended up missing was the shot that I used X, and it was the shot that Bonnie's pass brought me in. I timed it like it was going to be a, you know, a normal catch because I was catching shooting, but that's the thing with NBA 2K25. There's weird catches, there's different jump shot animations. Shooting is a complicated math puzzle that we all have to do. It should not be so difficult. People just want to play the game, shoot the ball. You know, why do we got to have 30,000 different timings? Why do we got to have 30,000 different catches? But it's the game we're playing, and I'm not expecting a change. Mike Wang really, he wants, and he's the gameplay developer if you guys don't know. He posted something talking about they want shooting percentages to be lower. They don't want people, even if they're shooting perfectly, to be shooting 70% from the three-point line. They think that it makes more builds viable. And you can see, man, I get a nice steal right there. Go straight up for the dunk. They think that it makes builds more viable if you don't just have to be knocked down shooting. There's no reason to take a two if you can shoot 70% from the three-point line. And of course, you know, I understand as somebody that likes doing mid-range, that likes working in the post, that likes making multiple different builds, I know that the game sometimes just turns into a small guard three hunting the whole game. I mean, you guys have seen my comp pro-am games. That's what ends up happening. My point guard and my shooting guard, they're just chucking threes. I don't get the ball as much as I would like because there's no reason because they can just green every single three. Why are we going to take a two? But it can't be random like it is now. Lower the green window if you have to, but we cannot have a system where people are timing their jump shots quote unquote perfectly, but 2K just decides they're missing the shot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If I didn't say that already, I might have already in the video. And yeah, man. So rhythm shooting, is it worth it? Is it good? Yes. But there has to be, you know, right here, take a little pause, shoot the shot. You got to get it down. It's going to take some adjusting to, and don't try to rush rhythm shooting. If there's a situation where someone's closing out, if there's a situation where maybe you're playing with someone with 70 pass act and you're getting a lot of bad catches, don't try to do it in those situations. But if you can catch the ball clean, you can rhythm shoot after that, especially on catch and shoots, you know, post fades, dribble pull-ups. They're good with a rhythm shot, but not as necessary as three-point shots. It seems like when you take a bunch of threes, that's really when 2K's trying to make you miss. They don't mind too much if you're taking middies, any post fades, post hops, hop jumpers like that. Check this out too. The guy from the corner ends up doing a dog shot from the top of the key in Bonnie's face. He doesn't even use the rhythm shot. He just uses X. So X, you know, square, it's still good. But rhythm shooting is better. To end the game, what you cannot do on NBA 2K25, they end up giving us a wide open dunk. Make somebody shoot for game. Don't ever let somebody beat you with that. In this game, play you see i take three shots one of them the dribble pull up with x another one was the rhythm shot from three and then i think i got the steal and took a dunk so like i said man i use it on occasion not all the time it is a part of my game but it's not my whole game and that's what i recommend you guys do learn how to do it but don't always do it know when to use x know when to use the rhythm shooting this is tonic man if you guys did enjoy the video if you want to drop a like subscribe of course i do appreciate it a ton and i'm out man peace